share his heart, introduce his son, grandson. And uh, I'm going to turn this off and then hook you up, and then you can do the same.
Second Son, brought to you by Car Force One, the church, to give his speech, his character speech, of Donald Trump. My name is Donald J. Trump, Republican. I am your 45th President of the United States of America. My campaign slogan is Make America Great Again. This slogan spoke volumes to people across America from all types of different backgrounds, ethnicities, job descriptions, and political views, not, not just Democrat or Republican. I ran against a Democrat woman named Hillary Clinton who thought she was going going to win easily with her un-American, socialistic views, and Hollywood freak friends. In the end, her overconfidence and dirty politics caused her to lose. I gave her the nickname Crooked Hillary. She gave my supporters the nickname Deplorables. I will be running for president again in 2020 against another Democrat who dislikes traditional Christian American values. So my new campaign slogan will be Keep America Great, Vote Trump. But I am getting ahead of myself. Let me give you a little background about me. I was born June 14, 1946, in a Jamaica hospital in Queens, New York. My father, Frederick, was a wealthy real estate developer, and my mother, Marianne, was a Scottish-born legal immigrant. She was a homemaker, raising me and my four siblings. As I grew older, I became a handful for my parents. At 13 years old, they enrolled me to the New York Military Academy, private boarding school. There I learned discipline, structure, and excelled in sports. I really liked golf, and I played on the academy football team. After graduating from the New York Military Academy, I enrolled to the prestigious University of Pennsylvania, Wharton School of Business. I graduated in 1968 with a degree in economics. I began working with my father in the family real estate business, building thousands of homes, apartment buildings, office buildings, hotels, and golf courses all over the world. In 1975, I took charge of the business and renamed it the Trump Organization. I became a billionaire from hard work, hard decisions, and always believed that Americans can do anything we set our minds to accomplish. I wrote a book in 1987 titled The Art of the Deal. My book was on the New York Times bestseller list for a total of 48 weeks. It also made me somewhat famous throughout the United States. The only other book I love more is the Bible. You may have figured out by now that I'm a Christian. I'm not perfect, but I love God, and I talk regularly with my spiritual leaders. I also chose my vice president, Mike Pence, largely because he's a man of strong Christian faith and wants to make America great again, too. I personally do not drink alcohol, smoke, or have any tattoos, and I also believe marriage is between a man and a woman only. As my life progressed, I began to see disturbing changes in America I viewed as threatening our traditional way of life and governance. An evil socialistic thought movement began to invade our culture from every direction, in schools, businesses, government overregulation, junk science, and political correctness run amok. I had to do something to correct this situation before it got any worse. I decided to run for president to bring back, to bring back jobs to our country and still national pride again, stop this political correctness nonsense, and protect our borders. During my campaign against Crooked Hillary, I had to endure unending, nasty, vile, dirty, smear tactics by the Democrats and the fake news media flunkies trying to destroy me. Thankfully, the American people saw the truth and what was really going on and fought back in my favor. Against overwhelming odds, and I believe that in the end of God, I was voted in as President of the United States in 2016. Many people were in disbelief I won. Until this day, many still have mental problems accepting it. Although the Democrats and fake news media continue to attack my presidency with lies and made up garbage intended to make me look bad, they continue to fail because truth will always win against evil lies. Yeah. I would like to close with a quote I made. Above all else, we know this. 
In America, we don't worship government, we worship God.